Welcome back. We can consider one more university question regarding the design of a ALA and is asked for 10 marks. Okay. Design a 4 bit arithmetic unit which perform the following operation on two inputs A and B and controlled by selection variables S1, S1 and S0 with input carry C in. The function table is given here and it's like this with values s1 equal to 0 and s0 equal to 0 when c n equal to 0 the uh, alu want to perform the function a plus b and with the same sequence of s1 and s0 and with c n equal to 1 it want to perform a plus b plus 1 right so with s1 s0 combination like 0 1 with c n equal to 0 it perform a transfer operation and with c n equal to 1 it perform a plus 1 increment operation and with s1 equal to 1 and s0 equal to 0 and c n equal to 0 it perform complement of b input here it is a change here we want to perform the complement of b input as the output of our ALU with s1 equal to 1, s0 equal to 0 and c n equal to 0, the ALU want to perform a complement of second input transfer. Okay. And with c n equal to 1, it perform complement incrementation. We need to perform the complement of b input and want to increment by 1 then. And with s1 equal to 1 and s0 equal to 1, it perform a plus b complement and when c n equal to 1 it perform a plus b complement plus 1 that means this is the 2's complement addition of b right that means a minus b it is okay so based on this information now we can consider this arrangement when s1 equal to 0 s0 equal to 0 when c n equal to 0 what function we want to perform? When c n equal to 0, we want to perform the operation addition of both the input a and b. So, whatever value available in a and b, that must be available in our output of parallel adder. So, in order to transfer that value of a and b to the output function, we need to directly connect the value of a with X, x input of parallel adder and value of b with y input of parallel adder. Here in the output function we need both the x input value and b input value. So that we need to connect the a input directly with the x input of parallel adder and b input with y input of parallel adder. So here it is 0 which is directly connected with xi this 0 connected to xi this one that means whatever value is provided for ai ai which is directly passed to xi similarly for bi and yi also whatever value is provided to this bi which is directly transferred to yi so for this ai and vi what are the possible combination like 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 Right. So, whatever value provided to this AI which is directly transferred to XI here and the value provided to BI which is directly transferred to YI. And consider the next one that is S1 equal to 0, S0 equal to 0 with C in equal to 1. What we want to perform this A plus B plus 1. The same operation and with this C in equal to 1 this 1 become available in our output function. So, the same operation, whatever value provided to this AI which is transferred to XI and whatever value provided to VI which is provided to YI so that this A value and B value become available in our parallel adder output. So, this is directly our whatever value provided to AI which is available here in XI directly and whatever value provided to BI which is provided to this YI. Okay. So consider next case. The next function with s1 equal to 0, s0 equal to 1, with c in equal to 0. But we want to perform a transfer operation. In order to perform this transfer operation, we want to transfer the content available in AI to the xi input of our parallel adder. 
and here from this function it is clear that here we have no b input part so whatever value provided to vi it, it doesn't matters v y i input of parallel adder must be full of zero that means whatever value provided to vi it does not transfer to or connected to the y i input of par uh, parallel adder the y i input is always set as zero here in order to perform this transfer operation with c in equal to zero okay so whatever value provided to this ai which is directly connected with or transferred to xi okay and whatever value provided to this bi with uh, with uh, we don't want to consider the value of bi whatever value provided it doesn't matters we need to consider zero for this yi because in the output function here we have no bi value right and for the next that is s1 equal to 0 and s0 equal to 1 with c in equal to 1 what the what, what is the output function that is a plus 1 here also in the output function f equal to a plus 1 we have no b component so exactly same in our previous case that is whatever value available in ai which is directly transferred to xi and whatever value provided to vi it doesn't matters yi is always full of zeros because the output function contain no b input part the output function is a plus 1 here we have no b part so whatever value provided to vi we don't want to transfer that value to output of our parallel ladder so simply put full of zeros in yi okay so this is the next case with s1 equal to 1 and s0 equal to 0 with c in equal to 0 we want to perform this operation that means the output of the parallel adder must be complement of b input from this function it is clear that here we have no a input part right so in this arrangement whatever value provided to ai the xi is set as full of 0 because the output function contains no a part so whatever value provided to ai it doesn't matter xi is always contains full of zeros xi is always zero okay and here we have the complemented form of b input so whatever value provided to this vi the yi contains the complement of vi input so here it is zero so the yi become one vi if vi equal to one then yi become zero and if vi equal to 0 then yi become 1 right okay so this is the method of deciding the xi and yi value with various ai and bi input okay this transfer is based on this given function and here here also in this output function we have no a input part okay so with this c in equal to 1 Whatever value provided to this ai, it doesn't matter. The xi is always set with value 0. Okay. And here we have the complement form of b input. In the output of parallel ladder, here we have the complement form of b input. So, whatever value provided here, its complement part is connected to the yi input of our parallel ladder. And this one become available from this c in value. Okay, so here it is 0 then y i become 1 if it is 1 then y i become 0 just the complement form of b i input okay so the next case is if s1 equal to 1 and s0 equal to 1 we need uh, the output function as a plus b complement right from this it is clear that whatever value provided to ai which is directly connected to the xi input of parallel adder and for the b i its complemented form is connected to the yi okay if it is 0 which is directly transferred to xi if it is 1 which is directly transferred to xi and for the bi if it is 0 yi is connected with the complement of bi and if it is 1 its complement is connected with yi and in this case also with c in equal to 1 also the output function contains the a part directly and the complemented form of b okay from this it is clear that 
whatever value provided to ai which is directly connected to the xi and whatever value provided to vi its complemented form is connected with yi okay so from this given examples it is clear that both a and value in all the eight possibilities a and value uh, in some cases a is directly available in our output function in some other cases a a values are absent right in some other cases b is directly available in our output and some other cases with b complement is available in our output right we can consider one more this function that is from these given functions a function it is clear that in certain functionalities output function a is directly available right and in this a is absent okay and what about this b in certain functionalities b is directly available and here b is absent right and somewhere b complement is available okay so we need to uh, simplify both for xi and yi using the cam okay now consider the cam app simplification for xi from this consider this combination okay and the min um, minimal representation is like this s1 bar ai okay next consider this combination from this it is clear xi is equivalent to s1 bar ai plus s0 ai okay now consider second cam app that is cam app for yi simplification from this combination we can uh, decide this yi equal to s1 vi complement plus s1 bar s0 bar pi okay so using this information or using this representation for xi and yi we can consider this particular circuit diagram okay and we are asked to design a 4 bit alu so we need to consider for such full adder circuit and this s1 bar a1 and s0 a1 decides the x1 input of this full adder and this s1 v1 bar plus s1 bar s0 bar v1 decide this y1 input of this full loader so such four full ladders uh, full adders are needed here in order to design a four bit alu for this particular function table Okay, thank you.